Well, tonight, no one is saying cheers to a new report that found one of Montgomery County's liquor stores is losing money hand over fist. Oddly enough, the store is located in Chevy Chase, which, of course, is one of the metro area's wealthiest zip codes. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis is live to explain what's being done to stop the fiscal freefall. Kevin. Yeah, Candace, the county is currently working very closely with a consulting firm to try to remedy this issue. But residents we spoke with want that remedied and they want it quick because they say these numbers are too big to ignore. A liquor store with the bottom line redder than a Bloody Mary. Uh, it's hard to disagree with that. Last year, Montgomery County poured $2.6 million into stocking shelves and paying staff at its Chevy Chase liquor store. After subtracting profits, a loss of nearly 300 grand in tax dollars. I'm a little surprised, absolutely. But how did it happen? For one, there's no storefront parking. In turn, it took us nearly three minutes to traverse this underground garage before we found a spot. And geography is also an issue. The county's Chevy Chase location is less than a mile from five D.C. liquor stores. Many feel have a better selection of booze. Well, I wasn't surprised. Councilman Hans Reamer says a six figure loss is unacceptable. You know, the fact that we're losing a quarter million dollars operating a monopoly in the wealthiest zip code in America, that's a wake up call. But the county's Department of Liquor Control strongly disagrees. Its director saying, if you have a chain of 26 stores and 25 are making money, we're happy. We'll just have to move this store to a better location. I wouldn't want a, you know, uh, uh, an ongoing enterprise that's losing money for the sake of making it a bit more convenient for people like me to, to buy alcohol. <laughs> And so plans are in place to move this location to a better suited spot when the lease is up next year. That said, the Department of Liquor Control feels very sound and strong about its current overall fiscal budget, saying it earned $34 million in net profits last year alone. We're live in Chevy Chase. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News. Very interesting, Kevin. And if you want our watchdog team to look into what you believe is government waste, let us know. Send an email to watchdogtips at wjla.com.